Hello for love everyone and welcome back to another cooking vlog. My name is Vinny and this is Vinny Vlogs. So today we're going to cook for you guys roast lamb chops. Very easy and simple meal you can have at home and it's ideal for the family as well. You can serve it with taro, um, potatoes, rice, however you'd like it. Um, but it's a main meal that um, I'm pretty sure some of us are familiar with. So let's get straight into it, okay? So you need about a kilo's worth of lamb chops. So this is six lamb chops I've just washed. You need a whole onion sliced. And you also need two garlic um, cloves, or two garlic, so like whole garlic and then all the cloves in there. And then you need about a cup of plain flour and some salt and some garlic powder. And then for the simple sauce, you just need half a cup of water, half a cup of soy sauce, and a teaspoon of minced garlic. So I understand I did do a vlog on this previously. It was one of my first vlogs I've done on this channel. But I thought I'd revisit again and just explain the steps because some of you guys have tried it, but we'll go through it together as well, okay? And I've changed the way I've done my vlogs now, so that makes it more personal, and it's like as if I'm talking to you in the kitchen, so we'll get straight into it, okay? So firstly, you need to prepare your um, your flour coat. So you, this coating is just gonna coat your lamb chops and it's gonna give that thick gravy-like um, finish at the end when it's roasted, okay? So firstly, you're going to sift one cup of plain flour into a bowl, like so. And just make sure you sift it through because it gets rid of all the clumps that may have formed in the flour. Okay. Next we're going to grab our garlic powder. Like so, and this is just to add more, about a teaspoon. Okay. I'm gonna add more of the garlic and then a pinch of salt. What we're gonna do is just gonna mix that through. Flour thickener, I guess. Some sense for the roast lamb chops. Next, we're going to um, do our sauce. We're going to pour that water, pour the soy sauce. So it's half a cup of water, half a cup of soy sauce, and then we're going to add our minced garlic. Gonna mix that, and you're not gonna. You might not use all of it, but this is just. This should be enough just to pour on top, and that's all you need for your soy sauce um, sauce for the chops. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna assemble our lamb chops, ready to roast. Okay. So firstly, you'll need to assemble your station. So you've got your lamb chops here. You've got your flour coat here for the gravy finish you've got your chopped onions here and your garlic and then you got your soya sauce sauce to pour on top and marinade okay so let's begin so first you're going to grab a lamb chop like so and then you're going to coat it in your flour mix so really make sure you really coat it because it's going to give it that nice gravy thickness in the end. And then we're going to lay them on top like that. Okay, we're going to lay them in the oven dish. Again, grab another one. Like so. And then like that. Okay. So you really you want to make sure that they're spread out evenly and they're not stacking up against each, on each other because you want to make sure they they cook evenly in the in the oven. Okay, coming together. Two more to go. Right. One more. Let's 
good. Have it evenly flour. I'm gonna fit that one right there. And again, try and make it fit. It's gonna come out real nice in the end. Okay, I'm just gonna wash my hands. You can wear gloves throughout this process. Um, but yeah. just make sure you wash your hands in the beginning. My videos do encourage that. Okay, so next we're going to put our cloves of garlic, just fit them in the gaps where you can. Okay, fit as much as you can in there. If you don't like garlic and onion in this dish, then by all means you can leave it out. It's just to give it that nice finish in the end. Just spread your onion out. Now on top, like so. Alright. So, these are pretty much like home meals, like hearty meals you can prepare for your family. They can just come, eat it with rice and garlic or fish or um, banana. And lastly, this is the last step you need to do. So we're going to pour the sauce on top, okay? Like so. so just make sure you've covered most of that flour because um, you don't want to come out with white looking gross <laughs> chops. <laughs> okay, get all that. Okay. Okay, so just looking at this dish now, it's ready to go. But if you don't like too much soy sauce sauce, you can do half of what I suggested in the sauce mix. So this is what it's supposed to look like in the end. Again, the water diluted the soy sauce, so don't be alarmed. So now we're gonna um, roast our lamb chops. So like I said, just gonna foil it and then bake it in the oven at 160 degrees for an hour, okay? Allow that to cook and then we're gonna take the foil off. So like I said before, if it's too much soy sauce for you, you can only you can use half. Just drizzle it on top because there's already water in the lamb, like I said before. But um I prefer, I preferably like to pour all of it in and then allow the lamb to soak up all that soy sauce. So we'll see how it looks like at the end. Hey guys, so it's been like an hour and a half. I've left it to cook because I want it, um, the lamb to be nice and soft. So um, I'm going to take the lamb out, just take the foil off and brown the top, okay? Here's our lamb roast. Oh, yeah, it's sizzling away. Okay, ready? Get some other oh. Okay. Use that roast, guys. We're just gonna put it back in the oven. Allow some of that water to evaporate. Brown. It's good to serve. So probably another 10 minutes or so. Same temperature. Um, but we, the aim is just to get all the rest of the excess water out and dry it up or evaporate it. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Okay guys, so now I've just brought the um, lamb chops out. So after we took the foil off, 
I just let it um, brown for about 10-20 minutes so overall the cooking time is around just under two hours okay so um, an hour 45 minutes is enough as well um, so we're just gonna allow it to sit for about five minutes while we talk so basically yeah just overall um, took about an hour and 30 minutes with the foil on top and then another 10 20 minutes with the foil off just to brown it and then it comes out looking like this all right so these are all the this is the lamb chops nice and thick gravy as well See there's the... okay so what we're going to do we're just going to serve it and transfer that on some rice and the onions i'll grab some onions quick and easy roast lamb chops okay so it's a quick go-to meal or well, not go-to it's not quick but it's an easy meal you can make for the family and um, it serves six people so took about an island family well can serve up to I don't know three or four if they're that hungry <laughs> okay guys so now I want to try it so excuse me I'm just gonna quickly use my fork and knife you can see I'm going to allow you to zoom in and watch me cut my oh look how soft that lamb chop is this should really fall off the bone oh so good cut that okay okay you ready hey guys I'm going to try it now I love it with rice. It's the best with rice. So rice is also a go-to in island homes. Okay, one, two, three. Mmm. Wow. wow. Lamb is so soft. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We don't like the amount of soy sauce. Like I said in the other in the beginning of this video, you can cut it in half. So the soy sauce you pour on, you can do half a, a quarter cup of soy sauce instead of half. Oh, this is so good. Oh well, that's our recipe for this week, guys. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'll stop there. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, yeah. Oh, one more piece. Hey guys, so that's our recipe for this week. Stay tuned, because I'll be uploading some more recipes. And thank you, if you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Click on the subscribe button below. Don't forget to add me on Instagram, Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Also follow me on TikTok. I'll be up uploading recipes there as well. Thanks guys, and have a good week. We'll see you in the next vlog. So honey, bye.